In this video, we'll do an Excel crash course for statistics, part one. We'll look at basic components of Excel workbooks and spreadsheets, how to organize and save your work, selecting and moving cells, general formatting, reordering data, and inserting charts. Here is an Excel workbook. The first thing I'm doing is I'm holding the control key and rolling my mouse wheel so that I can see what I'm doing a little better. The next thing I'll do is I'll save it somewhere that I know I'll be able to find it again so that I can refer back to my work. Now that I've saved the workbook, notice that my auto save is on. If I want more control over when it saves, I can turn that off and just save it every so often, but I'll leave that on. The next thing I want to do is notice the different parts of the workbook. There is a worksheet here, and I can add worksheets to my workbook using the plus sign down at the bottom and I can rename my sheets. So if I wanted to have one workbook for every assignment and I wanted to number all of these sheets, one for each problem, this would make it very convenient to refer back to later. Now let's look at the parts of a worksheet or a spreadsheet. We have columns labeled by letters. We have rows labeled by numbers, and we have the cross sections, which are called cells, and you can see the cell address up there for this one, and as I click around how that changes. Now let's look at how to enter information. You'll simply click on a cell, and you can enter text, or you can enter numerical values, Notice that the text is left justified by default and the numbers are right justified. For visual purposes, I may want to center things, but then I lose the information about which cells are text and which cells are numbers. For instance, sometimes, somehow, numbers get entered as text and you'll notice that now it's left justified. And so there are advantages to keeping your original formatting but I would like to make this more visually appealing. I'm going to go ahead and center it. Now, I've been selecting cells while my cursor is in select mode with the white cross. I can also select a range of cells, and then I can move that range of cells by using the mode of my cursor that looks like a crosshair right on the edge of the selected range and I can just move things around. I'd like to move that back. I'm going to use Control and Z at the same time, or you can use your back button or your undo button. There's some general formatting that's kind of fun to try out from the home ribbon. We have things like bolding, highlighting, or background color. I can put borders on things. You saw how I moved my justification. You can change the text color, all the stuff that you may have played with in Word or something like that before. You can also reorder data. So notice that I have my values in numerical order from least to greatest. And if I want to reorder that so that it's the other way around from greatest to least, I can go select my data and then go to the data ribbon and choose A to Z, which it already is, or Z to A. And if I want to have more control over how I'm organizing things, I can add levels. I can choose to let my top cell be a header or not. We can also insert charts. So in statistics, we may want to put some kind of statistical graphs in. So from the insert ribbon, this whole area here 
is something that you can play with, different types of graphs that we learn about in our textbook. And I'm going to show a scatter plot. So I'll make a second column of values and I'll just do something like this. Okay. Now, if I select my data and go to this little dot plot looking thing, the scatter plot, then I have a graph, I'm going to zoom back out, that I can move around. Oops. And there are other things you can change. You'd have to, I don't, I'm not going to go over any little detail in this. We don't have the time, but just as a crash course, you can get in here and start playing with this. And notice that as I change values in my, my um, columns here, the little dots move around and it just, it's really cool the way it's interactive like that. So that's all I had for you in this video. We'll continue with other Excel basics in the next one. See you there.